So let's start with sleepy Joe Biden. I mean, seriously, what's with that guy? He's like a walking alarm clock that's stuck on snooze. I can't tell you how annoyed I am every time I see him stumble over his words. It's like watching a turtle trying to run a marathon. Sad. And let's not forget Ukraine. Everybody's talking about Ukraine, but I have to say I've never been so annoyed with a country before. They think they can just ask for favors and expect me to give in? No way. It's like they're running a Ukrainian version of The Apprentice, but with way worse ratings. But you know what really grinds my gears? These world events that seem to happen when I'm not in charge. I mean, come on, folks. Couldn't they wait until I'm back in the White House? Hurricanes, earthquakes, and all that stuff. It's like they're doing it on purpose just to spite me. I'll tell you, I'm starting to think they're secretly fans of Sleepy Joe. Now let's talk about world leaders. I've dealt with some interesting characters in my time, but some of these guys are just too much. You've got Kim Jong-un in North Korea, the guy who thinks he's the king of the world. Sorry, Kimmy, but you've got nothing on me. And then there's Trudeau from Canada. I swear that guy's eyebrows have a life of their own. But I have to admit, there are a few world leaders I actually admire. Putin, for example. That guy knows how to ride a horse shirtless. I mean, who needs a shirt when you've got all that machismo? I should take a lesson from him. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope I brought a smile to your face and some laughter to your day. Remember, always stay trumped up and never take life too seriously. Until next time, this is Donald J. Trump saying, you're fired.